We've got military rollouts of an experimental vaccine that they're going to jack inside our children. What should we do? What should we do moving forward with this? Someone has pitted us against us. The mask thing solely for the purpose of division. And if people are being shamed for not wearing masks, we're being um, made to feel that we don't have a choice, but we do, just by being a human being, we have inalienable rights. There's lots of us out there right now that understand that this is not about a virus. This is about a, basically a corporate takeover of Canada. We created the government to serve our better interests. They are not following the law. The government isn't the law. The law is above the government. The government has to follow the law as well. We need to get up. We need to get out. This is actually more serious than a lot of you are taking this for. Uh, like uh, Europe right now, they are rioting. They are protesting. They are doing everything to rise up. These people have lived through this stuff already. We've gotten off easy here in Canada, and we don't know it as much. Remember the importance of your voice. Like when you look around today, we showed up, right? We showed up because we care, we have an open mind. They know half the population is uh, having troubles thinking straight because of their television. And it's just sad because that's pitting everybody against us. Whereas we could just walk around and we could make friends, we could talk to whoever we wanted. Now we can't. People don't look at each other. They don't talk. They don't want to be near anyone. If there's someone not wearing a mask, so many people freak out and they're like... <gasps> this is ridiculous. We have our elderly suffering beyond anything that most of us can imagine. Loneliness, there's people dying without being able to see their families. So sad, and it's not the world that I <laughs> want to live in, let alone bring up my child in. It's best that we take care of this with our brains so we don't have to go the other route as well, because there's many hillbillies in these hills here that aren't gonna take this lightly if we don't fix this before things go that way, so. Don't underestimate the power of you, the power of us, the power when we stand together and we recognize and we stand up for others that aren't quite there yet. Truth is a vibration. And that has never left me because it just answers so many things. Why do we understand the truth when so many people don't? And that used to bug me so much because I, I don't put myself up above anybody else. I'm no different. I'm, we're all individually have all our own strengths. So what makes me and the people like me see this when other people don't? It's vibration. We are at a vibration where we can see the truth and others just can't. Just be careful of shame and guilt, belligerent. Uh, what's next? We have a big rally going in Kelowna next week. Uh, they've got a great crew, great group out there. I think we need to go in there as, say, the Clan McGregor from the town next door to go back our brothers and sisters out there for their big mega rally on the 12th at 12 o'clock at the Stewart Park. It's needed right now. This is a time where we need a lot of voices and we need a lot of people stepping up here.